Guys, I'm really bored. <laughs> What is up, Fusion fam? So sorry we will be missing Fusion this week. All of us leaders are really going to miss seeing all your crazy faces, playing awesome games, and learning about God together. Uh, but you just want to make sure that everybody is safe, that you guys are staying home, social distancing. Uh, and just because we aren't meeting together doesn't mean that we can't have fun together. So I assume that you've all seen the uh, video that we put out recently about what our plan is going to be. We're going to be trying to release two videos a week. One of them is going to be our Bible lesson and the other one is just going to be dumb, fun vlogs, kind of like this. Uh, you might see a lot of me going forward. That might be a bummer for some of you, but we also might see uh, some of your other familiar leaders uh, pop into the vlog once in a while. So today uh, we're just going to soft intro it. We're not going to do anything crazy. Uh, there's not much that you can actually do around at this office without other people here, but we're going to do our best to try to make some entertaining content for y'all. So keep watching. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. There are plenty of other staff members besides the Fusion team that comes here and works here, and most of them are not around right now. You see behind me, empty office. So I'm thinking that I give you a little tour of the other staff members here. And maybe we do a little thing where we rank other people's offices, see who has the best office, see if I need a little upgrade myself. Sounds good. Let's do it. First things first though, uh, we got to make sure that we're staying safe. I got to create a social distancing tool, uh, lest any of my fellow office members surprise me. Uh, in the hallways, I need to make sure that they can stay back. So I'm gonna make myself a social distancing tool. Gotta get this two meter yard stick. Boom. All right, we're gonna go out, we're gonna rank these offices on a scale from one to 10. One being the worst, 10 being the best. Uh, hopefully mine isn't the worst one. If it is, that will be a huge bummer and I am going to request a new office immediately. All right, let's start ranking. First up is Logan Hawkins, worship director. Uh, he's the guy you see playing guitar uh, and singing songs on a Sunday. We're gonna see what's happening in the music man's den. So we got some kind of uh, African tribal drum. We got big old speaker connected to nothing in case he's sitting at his office and he's blasting his tunes. Maybe a, over a dozen cans of <laughs> empty bubbly. Uh, <laughs> he's got a microphone that he can sing karaoke to himself for. Uh, got some socks here. What's that about, Logan? Got a bunch of socks. Okay, that one was pretty good. Uh, the socks are gonna take you down a notch though, Logan. So I'm gonna give this office an eight out of 10. Moving on. Big man himself, John Teeson, lead pastor. He's the guy you see speaking on Sunday mornings to all the grownups. Um, he uh, is the lead pastor, so he should technically, by logic, have the best office, but we will be the judge of that. So very spacious, not a lot going on in terms of furniture. You could probably play like golf in here. A uh, glass whiteboard though, that's pretty cool. I got a lot of books on the shelf, uh, stacks on stacks and stacks of books. Uh, and then, you know, we got that cleaning solution. Uh, 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 social distancing, cleanliness is the wave. We got here a very inaccurate map of the world. We got Australia in a kind of arc shape and there's definitely no Antarctica here. Uh, minus points for no geography knowledge. Let's see, Let's see uh, my dad rocks, drawn on a rock. That's real cute. Um, and also uh, in front of this lovely gift from one of his children is the plaque that says he is VIP of nothing. Uh, <laughs> as if this, this one is more important than the <laughs> gift from his son. <laughs> oh, 
honestly not a lot going on in this office. Uh, maybe that makes sense. He's a hardworking guy. He can't afford to have any distractions in his office. But John, I'm going to have to give your office uh, a 6 out of 10. Just didn't, didn't blow me away. 6 out of 10. It's a humble 6 out of 10. All right, next up we got Ed Wallen. That is uh, this one, not this one. Um, most people know him as the Congregational Care uh, Director, but I know him as the guy who walks around the office and whistles. Uh, it's a very, very calming presence. We're gonna take a peek inside. Got some artwork up on the walls. We got some loons. We got uh, a Parisian uh, painting here. Nice plants, nice, nice lamp shades. We got, we got a bin full of sand. All right, that's weird. Oh, look at this. Help yourself to coffee. Oh, Ed is winning in my book right now. Nice hardwood floor. That's gonna get some bonus points for sure. I'm very impressed by Ed's office. You got this beautiful uh, painting up here and, and you got the free coffee. That's really selling it for me. So I'm gonna give this place a solid 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 office, Ed. Uh, I don't know if any of us can compare to it, but oh, we're gonna see. Next up we got Phil Harris. Look at this award-winning smile. Let's see if his office measures up absolutely beautiful paintings in here too and if you look closely they're done by mr phil harris himself we got a regular bob ross up in here also a lot of books we like a studious man oh and if we look over here he is also bilingual we got some olive oil on his bookshelf in case he ever wants to saute something in here, I guess. And he's also got uh, a, a Filipino village trapped inside a bottle on this desk. Um, not sure how to get them out. If anybody has advice for how to save these poor people, uh, please let me know. All right, Phil's office, pretty nice. I like the little personal touches. Those paintings are really, really beautiful. Uh, I love the olive oil on the bookshelf, Phil. Uh, I think I'm gonna give him a nine out of 10. It's not Ed level, it doesn't have free coffee for me to take, but it is a really, really lovely office. Nine out of 10, Phil, nine out of 10. Rob is working, so. We can't go into that one. Uh, disqualification. I'm sorry, Rob. We got John Rendell, youth director. Um, got a tree on his door for grounded. Let's see what else he's got going on in here. A whole lot of Disney infinity up in here. Little Chewbacca in the back. Got my homie, uh, Tony Stark. Uh, met her Groot. This guy's got Nerf guns for days, ready for the zombies if this uh, outbreak keeps on going. Guitar for the tunes. He's got like a tub of granola in case he needs to feed a hamster or something. Got a TV in here, the only person who has had an entertainment system in his office so far. We've also got some evidence here, possible evidence I should say, that uh, John may be up to no good. Perhaps somebody should notify the authorities, call a detective up in here. Chopsticks left on the table. Looks like they've been used as well. You're gonna have to take points off for unsanitary practice, especially at this time, John, shame on you. We also have here a pair of shoes right in the middle of the room. Where's the man? We may never know. All right, John Rendell also has a pretty awesome office. Those Nerf guns, the TV. Uh, you could probably hang out in there for a long time. Very welcoming space. I'm also gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is a nine out of 10 office. And now for the most important office of all. Don't don't read this sign. Read this sign. This one, this one's Clarence's office. We're gonna take a look at the oh look at all the fun we're having in here. 
We got the pillows left over from lock-in, probably covered in your guys' sweat still. We got a bin of paper towel rolls, probably uh, all the toilet paper we've been using up in here. Uh, get your rolls now. We got the Purell on deck. Got the Legend of Zelda The Link's Awakening cup. Always a party in Clarence's office. Also got a full bin of just snackage. Got some goldfish crackers, got some fruit snacks. Gonna help myself to one of those right now. I do hereby proclaim that this office is an 11 out of 10. No, a 12 out of 10 office. Uh, this is the greatest office in Johnson Heights Church. You heard it here first. Uh, I probably will still go borrow Ed's coffee machine every once in a while on the down low. Uh, but we've got a big old pile of pillows up in here, so no other office has that. Alright, thank you for watching our first Fusion vlog. That was a lot of fun for me to make. I'm not a vlogger necessarily, so hopefully I'll still be able to learn how to make videos for all of you. Hopefully we'll get a couple other leaders to participate as well. In the meantime, I hope you guys keep watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we wanna be answering all of you guys in the comments for sure. We wanna keep on interacting with you even if we can't see you. So definitely throw us a comment. Tell us if uh, you thought any of these offices deserved a higher score. If you think that my office shouldn't have won. I don't know who would say that but you can comment it, we'll reply, uh, and maybe you debate about it in those comment sections. In the meantime, please stay safe, social distance. Try not to drive your family members too crazy. I know how some of you get. Uh, we love you, and we hope to see you very soon. Peace. All right, Logan. Okay, All right, Logan. Well, you're gonna have to explain what's going on with the socks on the couch behind you there. Those were definitely found in a bag that I got from Wes, and then I decided to. All right, hide. he's blaming it on Wes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on. That's all. We don't need to hear these excuses.